Asking yourself the right questions is critical to developing the right strategy, making important decisions, and driving optimal outcomes for your business. Hey my friend, it's Mohammed here, and today I wanna to lay out 10 questions you need to ask yourself when developing the right strategy. The very first question is, what is your vision? Do you have clearly identifiable goals, aspirations, and plans for your business? Do you know exactly where it is that you wanna be now, six months, 12 months, five years in the future? Do you know and have you identified what, what is the pathway that you and your business needs to achieve the goals and dreams that you have for yourself and for your business? Number two, what are your means, plans, and capabilities for growth? So do you have a roadmap that is going to lead you on the pathway to, uh, to achieving growth? Do you have the resources that's needed as well? So do you have cash flow? Do you have the right time? Have you planned and prepped your staff and trained your staff for the future and to get you to where you want to go? And these things are important when you are uh, looking for the right strategy to grow and um, achieve the, the dreams that you have for your business. So some of the other things as well that you need, do you have the right marketing plans and strategy? Do you, uh, have you set the time frames? So when you have a marketing plan and strategy and you go and implement that, have you allowed for time and cash flow resources to wait for, for the, for the revenue to start generating? Question number three, what is it that you need to do more of and what is it that you need to do less of? So have you put in place metrics, key performance indicators or KPIs in your business? Because those kind of things is what's gonna help you identify the strengths and the weaknesses of your in your business. It's gonna help you identify the uh, additional inputs that you need to do and also the potential outputs that are uh, driven from the activities that you're currently doing. So it's very critical that you identify what you need to do more of and what you need to do less of. Question number four is, what are the greatest threats to the performance in your business? Now, some of these threats could be internal threats and some of them could be external threats. Examples of external threats are uh, legislative changes. Um, so financial services industries uh, are very prone to legislative changes and these are big threats to your performance, your revenue generation and how you, uh, you know, conduct your business. Uh, another thing could be um, things like COVID-19 completely affected uh, many industries, hospitality being you know, one of the biggest ones. Ho uh, hotels and, those, and, and other hospitality businesses almost had to shut down because people couldn't travel, people couldn't um, you know, go out and social uh, mixing so, and so forth. They had to keep social distancing. What are the roadblocks that are within your business? What other disruptions could there be? Are there market shifts that are occurring in your business? So it's critical that you identify what these threats are. Question number five, what business systems do you need in your business? And this again is an important question because it, it'll drive a lot of outcomes within your business and it will obviously help um, some based on other questions that we've just posed, right? So have you got, um, you know, an example, a classic um, CRM system that allows you to track um, what is happening with your customers? Do you have a system in place? Do you have standard operating procedures? If you were to lose a key member of your staff, would you be able to replace that person because you have a system in place and you can easily train the new person with those systems? Um, are you developing some sort of automation? Are you developing some sort of uh, artificial intelligence within your business? So as we're moving into you know, what's called you know, the algorithmic age, uh, where machine learning is driving a lot of um, activities within business, do you have you know, these business systems in place within your business that allows you to be able to scale and grow and allow you to be able to uh, achieve the outcomes and the vision that you have for your business? Question number six is, um, how are your 
customers or your consumers of your products changing, right? It's getting easier and easier for our customers to basically swap over and change to a new supplier of their products or services, right? Um, and it's easy for them to go elsewhere. As soon as you drop the ball, right, they're out and uh, they'll find someone else to replace you. So how, what are you doing to meet your customers' expectations? Uh, what are you doing to enhance the experience that your customers are having with your, uh, with your business, with your product? Um, in the world that we live in now, many people are, you know, becoming socially responsible. We're getting a lot of vegans, um, those kind of things. Depending on your type of product, uh, product and service, how are you meeting those demands? How are you personalizing the services and the products within your business to ensure that you are keeping up with the, with the demands and the needs of your customer? Question number seven, which almost follows from question number six is what will your customers want and need in the future. So again, right, building a customer experience, but I think what you need to be doing here now is thinking ahead, building your services and products now, not only to serve the current needs and wants of your customers, but also their future needs and wants. So you've got to be conducting market research, you've got to be conducting surveys, you've got to be asking questions from your customers. What, it is, what is it that you need now? And what is it that you think you're going to need in the future? Speaking to your suppliers as well, they might be able to tell you what they are doing um, to prepare their businesses for the future and you know your future needs. So going out and, and asking a lot of questions, um, you know, doing market research, critical and important. Question number eight, and that is to clearly identify what is your value proposition, your USP, your unique selling proposition, and so on. So what are you doing to differentiate and stand out from your competitors, right? As I mentioned, it's very easy for your customers to pick up and move and go somewhere else, right? You need to be providing a, a service, a, an experience that your customers are not going to be able to get anywhere else. So that is, it's critical. Differentiating yourself is what's going to be important to you. What are you, are you, and, and at the same time, not only differentiating yourself, but it's then um, uh, delivering on that service proposition that you have. So you can't just be different, but you've got to be delivering um, exceptional service based on what you say you're going to do. So if you say you're going to do something, backing that up, ensuring that you do that. Uh, question number nine is about how are you evolving and improving your products and services? So you, you, you can't be offering the same product year in, year out. You've got to be constantly changing and improving that. Um, and then things like market shifts and changes, um, changes to the economy, changes to what's happening. We've got COVID-19 currently affecting a lot of businesses and a lot of businesses had to pivot, they had to change. Some of them had to completely go into a new industry. So what, what are you doing within your business to constantly stay abreast of what's happening out in the market? Is your product um, meeting the needs of your customers? Um, and what are you doing to constantly ensure that you will stay relevant? Your product, your business, your service will constantly stay relevant um, and meet the needs and wants of your customers. And then very lastly, question um, number 10 is, how are you empowering and, uh, and utilizing the talents within your business? So your, your, your human resources, are you promoting creativity? Are you cr promoting um, them to come to you with new ideas? Uh, th that's critical and important. Uh, Steve Jobs has famously said, right, we don't just hire smart people and then tell them what to do. We hire smart people because we want them to tell us what to do. That's why they are the smarter people. So it, it might mean that you need to bring in new talent, hire smarter people, uh, bring in maybe consultants that can help um, because they have expertise in a particular area. And then same thing, going back to your existing team and maybe tapping into them. You might ask them to for their input, for their um, ideas, because they may have, uh, you know, they, they work in your business. They know your business probably inside out almost as good as you do. So are you tapping into their wealth of knowledge and experience that they have within your business? There's 10 questions that I've laid out to you that you could use to develop the strategy, make better decisions, and hopefully achieve optimal performance within your business.